specific battery. Uh, it cost like 25 bucks on some weird Chinese side that I had to pay like 50 bucks for shipping. It's not something ridiculous like that. Um, obviously this full metal slide. Alright, I'm gonna make a metal sound with it. Ooh. Metal sound. Plastic. Some plastic. Plastic for metal. So hot plastic, real metal screws, magazines, all metal. Right? It's an all metal mag. It's not the kind of metal you think it would be, but it's, it's a magazine. Um, I, I recommend you do some things to it, like uh, what I did with this. You see how I put this tape here? It's so I can create a bit of friction between this thing and this. Because it has this has serious problems when it comes to um, the the slide coming off, so you can't really quick draw, you know. Because if you were to do that, the slide would just fly off at like 50 miles an hour. So what I do is I just stuck some tape here, and it does look really bad. I'm gonna do a better job on this uh, at some point. But currently it kind of works. I, I gotta finish spray painting it. But um, got this, and it works. The the, the, uh, the tape on there creates a bit of friction between this and that because this is a little bit too big for it, but it's plastic, so if you had to squeeze in there, you had a little bit of force, but it does not come off, trust me. It does not come off unless you want it to come off. Uh, if you wanted to release the uh, battery, you just pull this here. Most people don't really know. It, it's the quality control sticker. The best place to order it is either off eBay, where they sell them for really, really cheap, um, or... You think? If you got eBay, you got Tiger 101 HK. I think this thing is on Airsoft Mega Store. You could probably find this thing on Amazon too. Uh, it's for really bad prices, but um, Chrono's at somewhere between 190 and 230 feet per second. I mean, it's not that inconsistent, but it's um, it's it, it like it's in terms of quality control. You know, like some guns have different compression. It's China, man. It's China. So you'll get some really bad lemons, but when you do get the good guns, uh, because it's SEMA, they're indestructible. I've dropped this thing about twice. Uh, see, this is the hop-up wheel. I recommend uh, you, you do that. It's the stuff. You know, you know what to do. See this right here? See that? See how it's stuck? It's because I dropped it, and uh, the hop-up got a little bit shittier, so I had to put it all the way up to use point twos. It was already arcing in the video, so that was kind of wrong. This is the safety. Obviously, full auto right up here. Oh, God damn it. Semi auto up here and full auto down here. Obviously, the mag release. Trigger is a little bit tough. It is very thick. Uh, you can get over it. Like I said, this is a, this is about 10 times better than a gas pistol simply because uh, your engagement range, engagement distance with a gas pistol should be uh, within uh, 40 feet, okay? And this thing excels in those distances. You don't really need 300 FPS for those distances, like especially uh, because like the whole reason people use sidearms is because uh, their soft guns hurt at close ranges. You know, like full full size rifles. And I run mine at like 420, 430 or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, I mean, originally it was around like 440. I did some other shit with it, shorten the barrel, use some heavier BBs. It's got a bit of jewel creep on it. So it's probably like 460. Uh, with with twos like like comparatively and like joules, it should be around like 460 because of the 433 losing the 22 millimeter barrel, 440 455 down to 433. You know you know the gist. Uh, do some other shit with it. And yes, it does look bad. I know, but this is what I did to it. Okay, not what you did. This is this is me. This is all me. I do have to fix that though. I'll probably like, cut it or something and like super glue it. But um. With a slide on, it's, it's very thick. It is a very thick gun. Obviously, I don't have this camera mounted anywhere, so I'm just giving up. The whole thing weighs about like 1.9 pounds, but um, it's, it's metal, right? You can get used to the weight. You just got to be a tough boy. So um, comparatively, I have a SPO22 over here. All right, here we go. Fucking a spring pistol and this is in the same model too so um, I, I don't have a real one i mean you do remember there was a review where some guy compared the uh sema 1911 to a real 1911 or like a gas gun i'm not really sure 
and um, it, there it was really obvious. But um, this is how thick a, a, a P226 should be. This should be about as thick as the uh, 2022, which is what I got on the side, obviously. Um, the sights are shit, but you really shouldn't be using sights. I mean, sure you can, and they're actually really good if you do sight them in, simply because uh, they have a very uh, small reticle. I, I don't know. It, 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 it works, but it doesn't really need to use the sight simply because it doesn't hit 100 feet. Or does it? It hits 100 feet, yeah. It hits like 110, 120. Yeah. It's an excellent CQB. I still think it was. They don't have no stroke. It's an excellent CQB gun. Thing comes out. Got some shit here. Got some cool shit here. Got some cool shit back here. Got some cool shit here. Obviously, the slide doesn't go back. It's not below back. If it was, you'd have to spend at least 40 more dollars. Then it's getting it'd be more like 200 simply because the uh, Tokyo Marui one is like uh, it's 280.12 and um, 280.12 is good simply because uh, these things have a little bit of jewelry jewel, jewel creep in them that they take advantage of. So um, they have a little bit their cylinders are a little bit too over volumed for 0.12s, but they're vol volumed for 0.2s, so you can achieve 210 FPS. Because if you get a Springer. Springers, uh, I was going to show you Springer, I, I don't know where my spring pistol went, but my Springer, um, it hits the same FPS as this. I'll be actually has better range, I can tell you that. It really does. But, um, yeah. Obviously, you press this thing down, you want to take the slide off. We'll set the controls. You don't need to do, you don't need to test this thing ever. You just don't. Uh, it's fucking indestructible. And it's, uh, it's got a 30 round magazine, 15 rounds per second with a, with a battery, whether it's full or not full. It probably goes down to like 13 or 14 when it's like nearly dead. So this, thing, this thing's a beast. And this is about like 1,500 shots at least. I've never ran out of battery with this thing. Never. And um, never use it in a game though. Never. But I can tell you that from using that thing right there, see that little Tokimuri, uh EBB is that uh this will work better than that because that's 200.12 200.2s people are going to fill their hits with this and plus I use triple A's this uses a battery that uses uh it's all plastic this is all metal I do like all plastic a lot better for a sidearm simply because I don't like lugging around a two pound pistol I just don't I, I wish I could shave off a lot of weight off this thing so like I, I, I just like a plastic slide and fucking shave off all of this shit right here. I just can't do it. I just can't. Obviously the motor's in here. I'm not really sure what's under the sticker. You could see for yourself. I am, uh, hey, you look for yourself. Once you get your gun, you tell me. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to do that. I like the sticker. It looks dumb. China quality control. I bet you gonna, uh... What the fuck does that say? I bet you gun series. It's got a fucking crop, like nearly completely cropped out picture of like an Uzi or some shit. <laughs> fucking SEMA, man. I love this brand. I just love it. I think there's like a Made in China trademark. Oh, there it is. There's a Made in China trademark. Just right there. So, um, yeah. And yeah, with, like if you're not going for like straight up like CQB in like a room, you know, like when you have the really good fields and like you're shooting people at like 100 feet and below in CQB, because apparently that's what people think CQB is, even though it kind of isn't. Uh, you'd need a gas gun for that, but as soon as you've got full auto, your gas gun doesn't. That's, that's an advantage. And um, for field play, if you're fighting within within 100 feet, uh, like like as close as you're going to get, like within 100 feet, this is, this is the best gun. This is the best sidearm there is. Trust me, you can whip out your Scorpion. That thing weighs fucking three pounds, okay? That Scorpion is a three-pound gun. You do not want that. And you can go down to, like, two and a half pounds. It does not give a fuck. But, um, yeah. Yes, it is completely disproportional. But I'd like to regard it as a larger size tan gun for, like, a larger caliber for SIG that never existed, you know? Like a... Like a like a, like a higher caliber safe never existed. Like it was gonna chamber a 
the the 50 GI. I don't know what 50 GI is. I, I could do like I'll, I'll put up a picture. I'll put up a picture. I think. Could I? Nah, I can't put up a fucking picture. I'm gonna Sony Vegas shit. Forty-five, fifty GI. Forty-five, forty, fifty GI. I think that's what it is. Is it? I think. No, these are both fifty GI, and that's a forty-five. There you go. There you go. Oh yeah, that's pretty big. That's a pretty big gun around. And we got nineteen eleven. Let's shoot that. The more you know. Oh shit, this is a hollow points. Check that out. Check that out. That's what hollow points do. Look at that. The crush of death. Might be a controlled, uh, no. Controlled, controlled destruction or something. I don't know what the fuck you call that. I don't know what that is. I don't. I really don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. I don't know what that, I know what that is. That's just kind of nice. Whatever. You get the point. It's a gun. It lasts forever. It's not super pretty. It shoots full auto. It's meant for really close quarters. Um, if you're using like for super close quarters, like you, you've got your your AK in a in a um, what do you call those things? You know the, the straps. The straps. You put it on the front and you get the sling. Yeah, the, the, you, you've got your AK on a two point sling. Uh, you just let, let this, this, you know just put it over the front. Of you, and you're, yeah, it's in front of you, and you just whip out this fucking handgun, and you just smoke people in CQB. You just do it, especially if I if it's by surprise. If this is by surprise, this is the best gun. Seriously, it just it just is. Um, and there's a number of reasons for that. Is one is that people do not like hearing a gas pistol from their spawn. Okay, if you get behind the enemy, like what I do sometimes. Uh, you, you don't want to have a gas pistol. You just straight up do not. And that's because um, you know, if they if they don't think there's an enemy there, they'll they still will. That's a contradiction. Uh, I mean, like if they don't know you're coming, right? And you, they hear a gas pistol and they're like, oh, it's our teammate shooting out of out of bad guys. We're really fucking close up. Better send the entire A team down there. Right? Or, alternatively, what the fuck is the enemy doing back here? Which is the... It's not as common if you do it right. You know you, you know what I mean. Uh, they hear an AEG pistol. Or AEP, obviously. They're like, oh, someone's shooting an AEG, kind of. And this is this is actually pretty quiet with point twos. And, um... I'm just some guy shooting an AEG. Uh, you could probably shoot some... Shoot to shoot some guy in the back with a guy right next to him, and the guy right next to him like, what? He got hit? And the guy would probably, like, mumble and go on the back, and, like, turn around, and he just has a gun right in his fucking face. Alright? Some funny shit. Like, that's, that's, that's my tactics. Those are my tactics. Now, the ultimate ninja gun for super, like, super close quarters is this. This thing sounds like a mouse's fart when it goes off. It's a little back, which kind of sucks, because it's not, it gets a little bit too loud. A beautiful handgun, 2015, and um, you know the disadvantage is 16 rounds, only .12. I, I mean, it, it's not very high FPS. 200 to .12. That ain't shit. That's like crossman shit. But it has a dope ass hop up, so it's like 60, 70 feet. But um, that's a. So I don't like using it. It costs more than gas to use this thing. So, uh, I gave it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. This is a great gun. Now, it would be 11 out of 10 if I, if it didn't weigh almost 2 pounds. Now, I think I could fix that someday, but for now, just, uh, just to get a little bit tougher, alright? Just, just grow the fuck up. Grow a pair. Work out for, like, 3 days. Just, just. Just lift some weights for like three days, you know. Just do, do like a twenty, just do twenty, a set of twenty of like twenty pound weights, and you do that for three days, and you will carry this gun and it won't be shit. I mean, you sure you gotta get your your own holster, but you know what I mean. It's it's good. It's good. Fits its purpose. The thing doesn't work. I don't think you need it to work. Who wants to add more weight to a two pound pistol? 
not me. There are some modifications people do to them. Some people use, some people use Glocks. I honestly wish I got an M9, but I think would cost at least $100 to get here, and I wouldn't pay $100. I would pay 60 like I would with this. I didn't pay 60 I paid like 70 75 it was, it was a pretty good deal. I found it. I got this after my fucking ASG Scorpion malfunction, so this is, this is a better gun than the Scorpion. And the Scorpion was regarded as the best AEP of all time, which I find to be complete bullshit because it fucking breaks within like two weeks. Well, that's what mine did. And I'm not sure if ASG is a Chinese company or not, but if it is, I don't trust it. SEMA and Classic Army are the only guns that are Chinese that I trust. Sorry, fucking slot, fucking slot machine eyed pieces of uh, fucking fried rice. Racism. That's the video. That's it. And you're gonna see me shooting it now. I'm gonna shoot the gun. And it's not gonna have sound because I, I I I don't have Sony Vegas, so I have to make do with what I have, and what I have is nothing. <laughs> See, that's all I got right there.